Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at one of my personal favourite sets, which is the Ninjago City. Now it's taken from the original Ninjago movie. This thing is absolutely beautiful. So at the end of the video, we will be comparing it to the docks and the gardens. But during obviously the video, we'll strip all of it down. We'll have a look at everything that's in between and all the of the levels because it is fully modular. And obviously we'll have a look at all the minifigures. We'll be using the box artwork for the minifigures just because there's so many of them to go through. And I will pull out one or two of them as well. There's three instruction manuals. So we have a quick look at those just so we can see all of the hidden bits and pieces in it but it's one of my personal favorites for a couple of different reasons with the colors who I built it with and everything else like that but what we'll do we'll get straight onto it and we'll have a look at the box artwork first this might be a bit of a biased one but we're going to do it anyway so it is from the Ninjago movie it is set number 70620 it is a 16 plus set and yes the box is absolutely massive now as we come across the bottom it does say boat does not float but it has got some amazing photo opportunities that we'll have a look at in a little bit you've got all the minifigures going across the bottom obviously we will get all the names of these from the top of the box as well and we will see in a second just how modular this thing is but you can just see how girthy the box is it's one of those special sets where obviously they are releasing them every couple of years and i do not mind whatsoever but this is just a oversized modular so we come down the left of the box first you obviously got the top tier you've got the middle tier which has loads and loads of little bits and pieces in and then you've got the bottom tier as well as we come over to the right hand side it does have a working lift for the minifigures and it has got the canal type bit coming through at the bottom and then you've got all the little hidden details within all of the rooms as well but don't forget this is taken from the movie so if you are a fan of the ninjago movie this is one for you but there's things like this which i really like where you can flip it over so you can have like a non-cooked and a cooked crab you have got a working money dispenser on this one and you've got some shops and everything on the middle you've got some games some toys and as we come up to the very very top there is a hidden compartment for lloyd himself where he will have his ninjago outfit up there but if we tip this over and have a look at all of the minifigures so the minifigures these come with are very, very impressive. So we've got Kai to start with. Obviously, he is one of the red ninjas, so he's the fire. And then we've got the village up. And then as we pan through, we've got a little girl called Sally. And then we've got Ivory Walker. And then we've got Sweep. He's a cool-looking little thing. And then we've got Conrad, I think that is. And then we have the amazing chef just up at the top. And you've got Mother Doomsday in the top left-hand corner. And then obviously, we've got a one-to-one -one of the Lloyd. And then as we're coming through, we have the officer sh chasing down the shark army gunner. So again, it's all taken from the film. Then we've got Jay coming through. We've got the mum. And then past that, we've got the green ninja suit. And then you've got Lloyd as well. Then you've got Juno. And then we've got something called Guy, and then we've got Tommy. But like I said, we will pull some of these out, but they're, they're dotted all over this set. So from the massive box onto three huge instruction booklets. Now these things are really, really nice and detailed. But if we just go through the first couple of pages of level one, it has a lot of history with regards to Ninjago. So you have a full write-up about the film, how it was worked on, and bits and pieces like that. And I do believe then you've got some concept art. So you've got some really, really nice things coming in here. So you've got all of the Q&As with the director and the interview and it's just a really nice thing to stop and have a read so if you get a chance to find the instruction booklet online i highly recommend it and then you have the ninjago language translator now this thing is pretty cool because if you want to try and figure out what all of the ninjago language means in any of the sets you can do so i don't know if you'll be able to download an app or anything for this or you better start learning it quite quickly but if you want to try and spell your name if I go down slowly, you might be able to do that. You might just have to pause it and go back for a couple of seconds. But it is all there. And obviously, there's so many different signs. You can then figure out exactly what everything says. So that's always a good, fun game to play with. But you can see you've got the movie images. And as we come down, you've got a couple more as well down at the bottom. And then as we come through, we then got the model designer interview. So you can see just how detailed that is with regards to all of the drawings. And then across over to this side, you've got some more drawings up at the top, in the middle, and then obviously the one at the bottom. Over to meet the team on the first one just here. So these are the two model designers. And then you've just got all of the writing. So again, lots and lots to read up on on this. So that's the first nine pages. We move on to the information of what level one is. So it's the old world. And it does say residents living in a small but comfortable homes here. Their neighbours include the base of the city's elevator, storage and repair facilities and a maintenance robot. So that is what 
all of these minifigures are to do with. They all have some bits and pieces going on. So you can see just at the top, just how detailed this bottom bit is. And like I said, we will be tearing this down and having a very, very good look. And you've got some nice photos and images sort of recreating bits and pieces from the actual film. And then what you can do in this sort of set from the actual film, obviously. And then we go into the first six bags. So that is what that looks like. And then you just basically crack on until it asks you to go into booklet number two. Now booklet number two, again, it will give us some more information about the minifigures. So you've got all the minifigures that are included with in this tier and it has more information so level two is the street so the street will have all the other little different bits and pieces in and again you've got a really nice write-up of what you can do with it it just explains everything that is there but again if i just read the last little bit it says once you're done shopping you can pick up some new extra cash at the atm and then you can check out the movie poster stands and see what is playing so the, the poster stands i do believe you can actually rotate and you do get some spare ones off but then you've got seven to bag bag seven to ten for this bit and then 11 to 12 you add the next tier on and then you can just see just how bright and vibrant the colours are with that amazing blue. And then you're coming over to the back, adding so much colour, loads of hidden detail, which again, we'll hunt down. That's 326 steps for 207 pages. And number three is the skinnier one of the three, but again, it gives us more information. So level three is the high rise. As we come down, it gives us another good write-up about all the bits that are included with on here. And then as we come over, you get another five minifigures, and then you've got the green ninja suit as well. So you've got Lloyd's ninja suit, so hopefully that is still there hiding away. I've not yet checked and then as we come through to the very very end I think it will give us just one or two bits from the actual scene so as we come over it gets shows you all the bits and pieces again that you can do on that one that is the middle section that is the bottom section and then we have a bit more artwork of just the things that are on there which is obviously very, very nice. So moving on to the set, you can now see just how big this thing is because it's a 32 by 32 base plate at the bottom and it does take up a good chunk of space, but you can just see how open it is. So if we just stick to the bottom for a second, you can see how much detail there is. We've got all the boats and everything just underneath on that bit. And then you can pan round and come through and there's all sorts of different bits and pieces going. You've got a little phone booth just at the back, just there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need to strip it all down tier by tier to give me some space and then we can crack on. The first two levels are off and we are left with the very, very bottom. Now we can take a little bit more off because it is just like a module that comes out in every January, but we'll have a quick look at what is available on the outside first. You can see all of the little bits and pieces, all the detail. And again, with the translation, you can figure out exactly what all of this means. But as we come round, before we have a really detailed look, you can see there's lots of little bits and pieces on the back as well. You've got all the doors and things that we're gonna have to have a look at. This is obviously the very, very bottom part of the lift that you can get on. And then you've got all of this here which will connect lovely into the docks because that's where the pins and everything connect through but you can see you've got some really really nice minifigures sort of just dotted around you've got this happy chappy here with all of this fish but then if we spin around and pan around a little bit more you can see more detail at the front you've got really good opportunities for photos and everything like that now hopefully if i remember rightly because i have don't think i've actually stripped it down completely since it was built now that is one bit. If it comes, I think you got a sliding door on that one as well, I think. So yes, we've got lots and lots of details. I've just got to remember where they go. So as long as I keep them side by side, we'll be absolutely fine. Now, what do we have on the inside just here? So it looks like we have the robot. Take a better look at sweep. So we grab sweep out now and let's have a look. So this is the first time I've seen this minifigure in years. Poor thing's been stuck in there the whole time. So you can see all the big detail. What we've got on there, we've got these really nice cool boots on the back. You've got the nice little bits and pieces on the arm. You can see holding the broom you've got the eye you've got the nice cool little hat you've got the bits and pieces where you can put all the rubbish and things that would be collected up through and around the city so when i put my ninjago city back in a more permanent place i will make sure that the sweep is pride and center because he's been stuck in here for far too long now what else is in here it does look like we have got some water piping and there's just some little bits and pieces we can put up on the side and you have also got the clips the two things that they're holding can just be clipped in here on those two now as we come around and keep on to the back side of the model you can see you've got the nice little bit of decking here where you can walk through with all the fish we get that many figure out the way you can then also see you've got more piping for the water so you can be pumping the water Water through so if you want to add in some more water on the side obviously you can do and then you've got the little mechanism just here where you can the lift will obviously go up and down it is a working mechanism now this boat quite a good size you can get the minifigure in there and it's got so i think if i remember rightly 
will have yes some bits and pieces on the inside so they are still there safe and sound so it looks like you've got some maps touristy maps and things so you can put a minifigure at the bottom and you can stand another minifigure up at the top if you want to but is looking a little bit little bit tired so i'm probably needs a very good clean now these things are pretty cool because you can see that you've got all the crowbars that's what these are designed for so you can move all of them up if you wanted to I've moved them up actually out of the way just so we can have a better look at the inside. Now you can fill these up with fish and anything else that you want to do. Obviously, I've got all of them on this minifigure currently, but that is where they would live and go through. And again, you can get some nice minifigures just cutting through the inside of that. Now if we spin around, you've then got the nice staircase, which we saw. These are interchangeable if you want to change these with different bits and pieces. And again, you can get some really, really nice photos of either just minifigures you can put some frogs and stuff in there or you can put the boat back do whatever it is you need to do and again minifigures come up across the top and then you can come all the way around you've got this nice little speaker system you've got the silver crab just hidden away at the front so again you've got to keep your eyes peeled for all the different elements that there's been used but they have got things everywhere so you've got signage going across the top which links into the next tier and then as we come back through we saw the officer behind the police officer you've then got that phone obviously you've got a couple of stickers just on that bit you've got another one just here again without knowing what it says you have to figure that out you have to go back to the translations and figure this out and then if we move the skateboard up you've got some really nice detail on here now do any of these doors move no so that is a that is a permanent fitting for the door so obviously that is where sweep lives so that's his nice little house now moving on to the next bit so this is this bit that went above this one so this goes above the crowbars which i'll push back down now and we'll figure out how easy this is to start clipping all back together it looks like you've got a little tea room so this does look like it's part of somebody's house because it did say in the instruction book that this will be for people's housing so you can see you can get some plenty of space there for some minifigures this is the one that does have the sliding door as well so again the detail for photos and everything like that is beautiful and then you will just be able to clip this up and on so we'll figure out how this goes not too sure if there's a specific way it needs to go but if it will sit like that for now i think that looks good enough but more, more than likely i'll probably just put it on the wrong way around but you can put the slide the door across if you want to then you can obviously open it back up and then you've got the detail just on the side so that's always good looking and then again with this on the outside you've got all the different detail on the outer bit and then you've got these nice cool little sort of solar panel lights these bits do move as well so you can wrap these over and get some slightly different angles and you've got the vine and everything coming off and again you've got another sliding door which is a nice thing to see and it does look like you go into the sleeping quarters you've got a nice big bedroom in there it does look like you've got a tv you do have almost sort of like a chest of drawers just on the side so that would make sense if the door was facing the door so you can then just cut across and then that would just clip in just like so and going by the box that is exactly how those two are and then you do have the window on the side so that was better luck than judgment so that is that tier now if i move this completely out of the way and then we'll move on to the next bit now the next bit again not only is there multiple rooms which you can see just here it also splits so if i take that bit off we've then got another six rooms to get through so lots and lots of detail but we're looking at the next part of the shaft where they all go up and down on and again you can see the minifigure up there and you've got the buttons just on here and then you've got a working mechanism just on here now there's bits and pieces like this will link into either the bits on the back or they link to bits and pieces in the restaurant itself so we'll have a good look at that in a second but if we spin this round so we can have a good look at any detail that might we might have missed on the outside so you've got a nice comic book section which we will take a look at in a second you've got the working atm so it does spit out all your money within that bit and then you've got some really nice sort of I guess lighting effect with the orange that we've been using and then as we come through and round you've got then the front door and the entrance and then as it comes through there's your main man just who is ready to start cooking all the crabs and again arrow to go down the stairs which then leads you into the next tier and things like this these are interchangeable so you can pull these out spin these round and then you do get given if i remember rightly loads of other ones as well so you can use that sign on this side to pull this through and then we have got a selection of different bits and pieces so you've got a tide of walking so you can buy yourself a car and then you have got some sort of film that says it's coming soon and then you've got some sort of attack again with the big with the big dragon and they all just live 
just in there so they can be changed at any point but we've used the sort of the ninjago one on that it has got the lego sort of symbol up at the top and then you just literally shut it with the actual door that's on the side and then that pins that bit up so you've just got the lego technic piece there that we push it down it just all knocks through now coming on to the inside if i open this up that is that bit just here now i think if you were then to shut it down and if i spin this on the back if i can reach it there's your noise spin it up and it's completely changed to a different color so that is now cooked and you've got this bit just on the side here twist it around and then it's not cooked so it is a really really cool thing and again coming through up to all the detail that is on the inside you've got all of the different kitchen tools you've got lots and lots of different bits and pieces where you can put things and then again the drawers do open up and you can put different bits and pieces in so the bananas are in there you've got a golden one you've got the yellow one on the floor so again you can just do so much with regards to photo opportunities you can add in a load of minifigures on the outside of the table if you want to so you can have you've got those three chairs just there they could be sat in then you can have the main chef just on the inside just working over the actual main i guess the main stove but it's a very very clever mechanism again it's a good little technique build on this one and you have got what looks like some more sort of sliding door effects just on the inside and this is also a cool a cool looking thing with regards to how the money and things work because it does just spit your money out and it, the money just comes in throughout the bottom and if i remember rightly it gets loaded through here so this is your next mechanism that we then use so if i spin this back round do i push this has it got any money in it i cannot remember which way does it go there we go just like that and then it will just push push the bit in the back you get given some money and thank you very much and i think you just then re keep reloading it putting it back in so you can stack quite a few in now for some reason i think the fascia of this comes off which it does so this just comes off you pull that back and you can see all of the money that is stacked in the back just there so that's how you then reload it it is such a clever feature bearing in mind uh, this has been done before the new ones come out and the new one i think has a working toilet where this one has a nice working bank but again you can just push that through it just spits it out absolutely no problem thank you very much and then you can just take it and you are good to go and it is just as simple as moving this bit down because again everything moves so it's all nice and easy so that way you can actually do it with two hands fold that one out the way load that back up put that back in and then just put it back up fold that bit back up as well thanks very much jobs are good now if we pull you can't pull this one down and you can't pull this one down but you can do it on that one so that is a clever thing just so it's a little bit easy for you to load and reload again you've got all the detail and everything on the outside you've got the cool surfboard and you've got all of these signs as well so again you're gonna have to figure out what all of these are and there is the door just here to get into the restaurant and then you can see all of the detail with regards to the actual windows and you've got the working well you've got the fan mechanism at the top so you've got the air conditioning just up here so there's so much to soak in and take in that every time i look at this i do tend to find some new things now this one you have the door pushes in out in out in out does something can i take the roof off yes so i can even take the roof off on this one don't think i can take the no so this is e i can't take can't take that off anymore but at least i can get to this one because this has different things in at the top just here so you've got the believe with the cat again that is from obviously from the film so it's a bit of a, a bit of a fun thing and then you've got all of the bits and pieces around the outside for all the comic bits so you've got all the other toys that they've got available up on there and then you've got some nice little bits just up here and then you've got all of the different comics you've got all of what looks like different models which will be the ninjago crew so you've got six different ones in there and then if i can hold it steady you've got a lot of different tiles all individual so each one of these are completely individual and then again they're all individual as well where you can rip those out and do whatever it is you want to do with those and just get some nice photos so you are again spoilt with just how much you can do just on this tier and it is as simple as plonking that back onto the front which obviously it says comics but again you've got the air conditioning unit and the more pipe work at the back and then that all connects through now that is only half of the second tier because the next half of the second tier is this bit just here so we actually get this on top of the comics just like so so if i push this back so you can see it a little bit easier that way i won't actually damage the plant and everything that will just sit in and on which is always nice to see and then we've got 
more stuff to have a look at. So we'll start at this end, so you can see the glass frontage, but we are looking at the rest of the lift just on the back, and then you can see into the windows. But again, you've got lots of different bits and pieces. You've got the steps that can take you up to the next tier. You've got all sorts of hidden bits and pieces in here, which we'll have to have a look at, and you've got more bits up on there. But when this all gets clipped together, you can just see again how much detail there is so you've got all of the costumes just on the inside just here so this is a beautiful color so all of these blues i remember this getting put together and having a very good conversation now you've got all of the phones and everything up at the top you've got the frogs You've got all of the cool orange bits and pieces on the side. You've got all the different hats. You might have some Easter eggs and some different films some detective hats. You've got a really nice pink heart and everything at the front as well. So you've got the purple top hat. You've got this golden thing, which looks like it's a birthday hat with a birthday piece just up at the top. And then you've got this blue, almost helmet looking thing as well. And then as we carry on panning around in the back wall, you've then got some more gold. And then you've got the another character just here and then that is just like a blue space a blue space hat and then these have all just fallen off and clipped off but they're they're more bits and pieces that you can buy from here and then you've got more of the window displays you've got this really nice translucent big brick just here and then you've got another bit there and again you more moving, more moving bits and pieces. So coming over to the top of the comic roof, this is a pretty cool looking thing because you can manipulate to this to however it is that you want to do. Now, it might not look like you can do too much from that bit, but if I get you up at that angle, if I remember rightly, this bit also comes off. So you have got that bit on the inside, which is where you've got all almost like the tree roots and everything, and you can sort of move this around and you can put it to basically wherever it is you want to put it to. But we just try and push this out the way because again, it's a big thing. We have this. Now with this, it means the roof will have to come off because we will be able to see it again. So again, next piece comes off. Easy as that, thank you very much. Now that is how the roof gets put together. Really nice structure, nice nice and heavy. But if you think this is a very, very big thing and nothing has really pinged off yet, I am honest when it comes to bits and pieces. If I end up smashing anything, I just fix it after I've done everything. So if anything ends up falling off, it is what it is. But you've got double bunk beds just on the inside just here. And then you've got some more living quarters and just some other little bits. So you've got all of the sort of the artwork and just things that people have been collecting does look like you have got a chair and like a chest of drawers and then you've got gn sorry gdn now if you can remember what that is that'd be a little bit of a challenge for anybody that's watching this bit in the comments below let me know it's easy enough but quick google you can cheat you can give yourself one whole point for that and then Again, roof just goes on. It will go on a couple of different ways, but you will have to be careful with how it goes on when it then gets attached to the next tier. So those tiers are reattached, nice and simple, nice and easy. Now there's two things I need to quickly show you again. Now this boat, going back to this, that bit moves and that bit moves, and now I've cleaned it. It looks much, much nicer. Another thing, that is not actually the right minifigure. Looking at this box, which is the docks, which will be the next video that follows this, that minifigure is happily walking across the docks because this bit will attach perfectly to the back of here. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So again, go by the minifigures that we saw at the front of the box, but I have rescued Sweep in case anybody wondered and Sweep will be living at the back of this for now. And then when the boat and everything goes on, I can Sweep a boat ride because he has been stuck there for a long, long time. Now, moving on to the very, very top. Now this thing is a pretty cool thing as well, if I remember rightly. Now we have got moving pieces. So you've got a working, sushi bar basically up at the top so that's a cool thing where you've got all the lego technic bits that is the money bags that is the one that takes all the money from the cash point so he can go over here and then we have got some other bits and pieces going on you've got your restaurant bit at the top with regards to the menu and then you've got all of the tables and chairs and you've got the minifigures and things in here. Now, there is a cool bit with this thing. So you've got this bright yellow looking thing up at the top. I do believe there's only one piece might be missing. There should be something here. So either I've just knocked that off or it wasn't there at the start, but it will be this bit here. So I'll have to hunt that down and make sure that's all clipped back in for when I do a comparison to when the new Ninjago set comes out in a couple of months time. Now, Let's have a better look because I think you have the sliding door just there. Now, if you can see the shadow, that is the green ninja suit. Now, obviously, this bean modular top bit comes off and then the neck bit comes off and then you'll have something hidden underneath, 
which is on this one, the chef's hat. And then you've got some other spare bits and pieces in there as well, which is always quite cool. But on here and in here, you have the one sliding door at the front and you've got the hidden bit at the back. And then you've just got his suit. You've got some really nice bright pink elements. Does look like you've almost got a toilet on that bit. And then up at the top here, it does look like you've got a sink on the left hand side. So you've got a loo on the right and sink on the left. And that just sits in here. So this is hidden right at the very, very, very top. So again, need to see the film to understand why the green ninja and everything else about that. And then you've got this really nice detailed looking thing. Really, really sturdy, really, really strong build. And it is only missing one orange sword. So this set is almost fully complete. Bearing in mind, it's not too bad, considering it's been moved around so many times and the cats have been jumping all over it. So we're not missing, we're not missing too much. But you can see you've got the little detail of the staircase just on here. And there is no hidden detail at the back as such. You've just got the, the very, very top. So with all that clipped together and putting it just like that, it is absolutely incredible this thing just looks stunning hopefully you've enjoyed it so far i know it's a long-winded one but there's just so much detail in these kind of sets and you don't particularly want to miss out on it but what i will do now is i'll start grabbing a couple of the sets for a size comparison and then we'll place it beside the docks to finish just so you can see what that looks like but in the comments below let me know what you think so far size comparison time so as you can see the difference in sizes with regards to the modular on the left hand side and it's just ridiculous bearing in mind they are both on a 32 by 32 base plate so they take up the same amount of space but you can just see how much taller this is per tier and then just the extra bit that you've got on top and obviously this one is a corner unit so you can wrap that one round and it comes through and then it wraps around onto the other side for another corner unit. so they don't look too bad side by side so the next thing we'll compare it to is the trusty Indiana Jones car and plane. So you can see if you have got this, just what this would look like in size comparison if it was parked out. Now this plane isn't small by any means, it's a really good scale plane. If we plonk that up at the back, you can just see how much that thing towers over it. Okay, final comparison and the main event. First thing, found it, which is perfect. Bad news, it was in here. Now there should be a roof on this bit and it's fallen off and smashed. So I will get this fixed for a full proper comparison, but at least you can see how amazing these two look side by side. Now this is actually a base plate in half, but we just give you a bit of a tease as we come over. Can you see where one starts and one finishes? There, that is where it'll be. You've got the bridge, it comes down, it is all meant to link up and it will do across the back as well. But I don't wanna to give too much away because there will be a full comparison video coming of all of the Ninjago sets as well. But they work so nice side by side. Now, if you have got these or you are thinking of backtracking it, let me know in the comments below and let me know if I've helped you at all with your decision. But before I make you spend any more of your money, that is it, I am done. So if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thoughts below, let me know what you think. Obviously, I've been very biased with this one, like I said, I was going to be at the start, but it'd be nice to let me know your true thoughts or what you think of this set and how you think it holds up to the new ones that are going to be coming out and everything like that. But guys, thank you very much for watching. You'll not take care, I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da.